business's Kevin Templeton as a coming-of-age story. That finds our main character trapped, in a courtroom drama that lingers, on the verge of a thriller. The narrator Kali Riley, Kevin's foster sister, will guide you through Kevin's past, to the present. Kylie and Kevin both started their lives off in separate orphanages, only later to be swept up by the foster system. Kevin spent his younger years, escaping the abuse of one foster family after another, and when he was on the run, he spent time on the streets as a streetpreneur. At least, that is what Kevin calls himself. Kylie only fared slightly better than Kevin, though she never had to live on the street. Life in the foster realm, was no picnic, until Kevin entered her life. Their first introduction was short-lived, because trouble, has a way of catching up with Kevin, even if he is not the one instigating his legal woes. It was not until they both landed at Mabel's home, did they grow and become family. But Kevin's propensity for trouble, would often derail his plans to live a life apart from the one given him. These skirmishes with the law finally catapult him into a courtroom battle, that could mean a long prison sentence for insurance fraud. Meanwhile, a scrupulous FBI agent believes, Kevin is responsible for more than the corrupt nature of a white-collar crime. When eight missing members of Kevin's permanent foster family, and five mysterious deaths, leave agent Sharon Alverson's special senses tingling. She refuses to believe, Kevin is a mild-mannered citizen, and a victim of identity theft. Over the years Kylie has learned the ins and outs of law, becoming a lawyer, but recognizing, that she is too close to Kevin, to represent him legally, which means she has to rely on the talents, of artisan Kane, to free Kevin from a, retribution, she believes he does not deserve. The question, who is Kevin Templeton? Con artist? Scammer? Street hustler? Schemer? Or, just maybe, he is hiding something, even darker, more sinister. Then again, Kevin Templeton, may just be trying to make things right. A good guy just trying to overcome, a life of trouble after growing up in foster homes, and, in between those foster homes, short stints, living on the streets. Perhaps he is a successful businessman, and, philanthropist. Could it be true? That behind every dark cloud, is a silver lining. Do we have to be labeled, a product of our childhood? Doing Business as Kevin Templeton, by Kylie Riley, a novel by Arthur S. Newman. I was born of this, I am sure. I did, not have a say in the matter. I am here without my consent. If left up to chance, that would be my story. My name is Kylie Riley, yes it rhymes, and yes, it is real. How I got my name is not the result of two parents who loved me. Since I do not have a father or mother, do not marvel at the previous sentence. There are more people like me than you can count on a government census. This story is about grit and determination. Kevin Templeton is my brother but not by blood, as his beginnings were similar to mine. No mother and no father to claim as his own. I first met Kevin in a foster home. It was there that he liberated me from loneliness and the thought of never having a real family to call my own, although we had not become brother and sister at that time. Because our acquaintance was short-lived. It was a few years later in another foster home that we bonded and became brother and sister, family. Our final foster parent, Patty Mabel Forrester, would tell us, I am your parent but not your mother and neither shall we muddy those waters. I want you to know, although I tell this story, it is not about me. It is about an extraordinary person, who lives life not only for himself but for others with a determination that no one should ever feel alone and helpless.